Hi guys. Uh, it's Rose from the Philippines. Today is February 20, 2016. It's a Saturday. And I was videoing a while ago. Then suddenly it stopped. And I think the problem is the default SD card is can't save it. So that's the problem with the first video. Maybe I'm going to make this short because I found time today, this morning, to record. And it's going to be 8 o'clock soon. And Mama went to the market to buy some food. I was showing a while ago this knitted beanie that I finished. So this is one of my pulls. And what I did with this was knit to purl to up until 5 inches. And as I was running off running out of yarn, I'm going I made the crown. And I was going to follow Miss Margaret's um, Miss Margaret's recipe for the bean for the crown, which is knit one, then knit two together. Second row is knit two together, and third row is knit two together. But I was thinking about the length of it, so what I did was I picked up all the stitches again. I unraveled it. And I picked up the stitches. I knit two and then knit two together for first row. Then I knitted for uh, five rows. So it would be longer. And then the last part. I was going to knit two together but then I decided just to knit it. And then I catch all the stitches. So it came out like this. I'm hoping that I'm not dim. <laughs> so this fits Daniel. And I was going to give it to him. But then I realized I don't have a gift for my godson yet. From the Spinias. I think I'm going to give this to Lance instead. So I have this doll. And it fits you quite well. This is my model. <laughs> this is Sophie's doll. So you can see, it fits her well. And for her, I can turn up the the bottom of it. You can flip it. But I think it's a uh, good length. So that's one of my finished objects. And the other finished object that I have is Tinker Bell. I think I finished her last Thursday. The yarn for her face and uh, hands is not that of the yarn I made for the other Tinkle Bells. So I think her head turned out quite big. And when I shown you her before, I ran out of yarn so I had to buy from Tabora and I went last week's sleep. So her hair is like that, and for her wings, Ate told me that she wanted to incorporate the blue color, so I made the borderline for the wings into blue. And she has some pom pom on her shoes. I think she can sit. <laughs> and she turned out pretty tall. So that's her, Tinkerbell. So those are my poles. And for my whips, 
I'm making a scarf. It's a simple knitted scarf for when we're going to the pilgrimage on March. We're going to Baguio and the temperature there is pretty low. I think it's a long time since I went there. I was very young when we went there. And I think it turns it kinda of turns into twelve degree Celsius there. It's pretty cold. And I'm not one for good I for cold weather. So I'm making this knitted scarf using this bamboo needle that Miss Jen gave me. What I did with this was it has a borderline of four garter stitch. Then the middle part is a stocking knit stitch, 20 stitches. And it turned out pretty long because I'm working with this at night. So I still have this yarn left and I'm hoping that it will be enough. So that is one of my whips. And I have no progress with stitch. It still looks like this. Because I finished the other items. And Hello Kitty is like this. She has this part on her chest. Because at the DD, she said that the inner part of her body should have a somewhat a clothing. So I put this and I was thinking about putting some buttons on this. But still have to figure it out. So I managed to make her body and her hands and her feet. I'm going to make I'm going to use the this yarn for her shoes and white for her legs. And I have this finish. So her her hoodie is going to be attached to her clothing. Her clothing is going to be some kind of suit that she can take off easily. It's going to be connected to that clothing. So it's a Hello Kitty. And I have another uh, another work in progress. I've seen Miss Malon made a unicorn, a rainbow unicorn, rainbow colored unicorn. And I was thinking about making this for a while. And I said, Hers was really, really cute. <laughs> Turned out pretty well. So this is a zebra. Still have to put her... The legs and the hands. But it turned out like this. This is not an order. But I was hoping to make some amigurumis for the office. Because... We are asking for new ones, so I'm contemplating on making the other ones very unique and gurumis, so they will like it. Put that in this project bag. So those are my projects for today. So I'm hoping to buy a drawer so I can put on my yarn stuff there but still have to wait for March because we're going to the pilgrimage and in March 6 we're going to an an Amana again to visit my aunt because two of her two of her child or children from the US are going to the Philippines to visit her. I'm hoping that we can see them too. Mama and I.
I was finding some double pointed needles at the Bora. But they have pretty long ones. Longer. I was hoping to buy them so I can use for the decreasing part of the hats. Maybe next time. And I've been watching some movies lately. I've watched the Jersey Girl, Chicago, Enough. And I'm trying to watch a movie one one only per day. Because I told that to my doctor and she said that it's not good watching marathons of movies every day. So I'm trying to decrease it. And I have been watching this Japanese movie, Roroni Kenshin. It's about an assassin from their long time ago era. Maybe the Meiji era. And I've been watching it over and over. Because it is pretty good. And the fight scenes, they are very cool. And it's very cinematic. Because from before, we were watching the anime version of it, Samurai X. My auntie loves it very much. So, she influ influenced me with watching it. And we can also watch it from the YouTube. We have a playlist there, so I watch it there. The anime part. The characters from the anime part have the same type of hair like those are in the movie so they did a pretty good job there and the other day uh, I cooked some lumpia dynamite with some kind of spring roll I put some sile you know the green chili I cut it then I take off the seeds, I put ham and cheese inside, and then I wrap it into a wrapper, lumpia wrapper, and then we fry it. It's pretty hot once you eat it, but it tastes good. My brother-in-law, he really loves it. He was asking last night if there is more, but we ran out of it. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, knitting is kind of different from crochet in a way that you're anticipating the the yarn how many have you got because when I'm crocheting the yarn runs out easily unlike in knitting it goes very slow in running out of yarn so it's a very different that's the difference of the two. And last Sunday, we went to Malabon for a visit to our cousin. And my tita's 80th birthday, so we went there. And they have a church there. It's also a Christian church. And my cousin, she is a pastora there. And the preaching was also by a uh, women pastor and it's pretty cool she has some very nice speaking voice because she was a teacher from before so her preaching is awesome also. and when we were finding the place it's pretty easy because we asked some people from the jeepney and they are very willing to help us so we got there very easy And also, <laughs> sorry if I've been rambling for some time. The crochet part and the knitting part is over. But my aunt and I, we are playing this game, Chef World. And it's about some chefs that are cooking, making awesome meals. So you have to check it every now and then for the progress. So you can... Uh, serve the food So we've been doing that 
and it's kind of addicting because you have to check it every now and then if the meal is cooked already. So that's a kind of bonding for me and my sister. And I have listed some random questions for you guys. But I think I will tackle that the next time. Also, I was going to make this after the zebra. Zebra. And also this one. This one is a B. So I just love the color support. So I'm hoping to make that. I'm also hoping to finish all the items that I need. Because I have the necessary yarns for it. I don't have an excuse not to make it. So I'm hoping that this video is okay. And hello to you guys. That's it for me. Bye for now.